Okay, so today I want to jump right in and show you how easy it is to um, use my ready-made templates. I'm going to show you how I'm going to customize and change one of the templates that I have available. Okay, so I'm going to jump right in. I'm going to go to access the interior. Okay, and I'm going to use the template for this new design. Okay, so as is, this is how the template looks inside. It has 181 pages. Um, basically, this is a, the front page that has a quote on it. And then this page, so we have two pages that make up a day. So this has like a morning routine and a bedtime routine on it. So basically these two pages repeat throughout the whole entire planner and i want to show you how i'm going to go in and i'm going to make this a totally different and new planner that i can resell on um amazon kdp okay so i'm going to jump right in and i'm going to act as though i'm making a planner for teenagers okay so the first thing that i want to do is i want to change um change the, the people here. So the first thing, I'm gonna go over to elements. Just gonna type in teen. Check all the graphics, see what they have. So I think that I would like to go and choose her. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on her. Let me get in a little closer so we can see what's going on. So I'm going to put her right around here. So what I need to do is go ahead and click on, let me move her over here, click on this one and I'm going to delete it. And then I'm going to just put her here. Okay, so I think the size of that is cool. Um, Going to change the sun. For some reason, I just want to do a music. I think I want to do like a music symbol or a music note. So let's see. All right. So I'm going to change that to maybe this one here. So I'm just going to go ahead and delete the sun. Put this right in its place. The colors are fine for me. I actually may, let's see, make it a little smaller, pull it over. And then this pink color, I may change it to match the color in her hat. So that it's a little more uniform. Next up, I'm gonna change um, the font. So, I wanna go in and just change the font of routine. So let me find a font really quick for that. Uh, apricots is good for me right now. So I'll make that smaller. So all of the cursive, I'm gonna go in and update it to apricot. So apricots change all yes I'm gonna go ahead and change all so that it will go ahead and change that cursive for me okay awesome let's see I'm gonna ungroup things and move it around just a bit and get it perfect for now I'm gonna keep the words the same just for the time I don't want to make this video super long but I'll keep the words the same for right now. Um, this, I'm going to change this font. Let's see, let's change all of that. Okay. And then I'm going to take this. I'm going to change this font as well. Okay, I'm gonna change this microphone. 
think I'll keep it. Or maybe I might change this to a, like a cell phone. So since, you know, kids are always on the cell phone. Maybe we'll do this one for now. Load this, delete this, put the cell phone here. And I think I want to make this, let me turn it a little bit. I think I'll make this the green color. That's that music note up there. That works for me. I think I'm going to change this blessed font to this little oranges color. Might make it a little bigger. Okay, this font needs to be changed to school bell. And like I said, I'm not worrying about changing the word so much because I can change all of this to different questions, different prompts, but just for the time sake of this video, I just want to show you how I go in and I make it look completely different. I mean, you can plan out how you want to change it and what you want it to say um, because that can take some time sometimes. But I just want to show you how easy it is to change everything and make it your own. Because people say, well, you're just going to sell the same thing. No, not necessarily. I mean, you can if you want. You can go in and you can sell the templates as is, but you can change them and make completely new templates. All right, so, so far I love this page. Um, I think I'm gonna keep this little area there. I think it's fine for now. So now for this page, I just wanna go in, make sure that everything's updated correctly. Um, so I'm gonna ungroup this so I can move things around a little bit. This needs to be changed. Okay, so then I'm gonna go in and find another teen to put here. Let's just do bedtime. I think she'll work. So I'll erase her. I'm gonna put her here. So for this, I'm going to delete this and I'm going to add this one. I think that one looks a little bit better. Okay, change this to school bell font. Oh, I did not mean to do that. Let me go back. Okay. I'll more than likely change this blue to the green. Keep that pink like it is, that's fine. Um, routine, I may go in and change that to this little pink color. Mood, maybe I'll change that to the green. Checklist, maybe I'll change that to this orangish color. These little dots, um, I want them to be like a green color, but a lighter green. So I'm going to take it to a lighter green, hit change all, and that will change all of that for me. So I think I'm pretty good with the look of that. So you see how all of this got changed? You don't have to worry about that. We're going to delete pages 4 through 181, and then we're going to duplicate these two pages until we get to 181 pages. So let's go ahead and click on page four. I'm on a Mac, so I'm clicking on page four, then I'm gonna go all the way down to page 181, click shift or shift and click to select pages four through 181, and I'm gonna delete those. And now what I'm gonna do is duplicate these two pages um, until it gets to 181 pages. Select those two and then command duplicate. So command D to duplicate. 
And like I said, we're going all the way to 181 pages. Um, what I do like to do is get it to 90 pages. Or, okay, 91 pages. And then I'll just take from page 91 to page two, and then I'll duplicate it. So Command D. And now I have my 181 pages. So now you can see so far how this planner looks completely different, okay? Um, we are gonna change this page, but so far um, I'm gonna show you the interior again. We went from this look of a planner to this look of a planner, which could fit like a, a teenager or like a preteen, okay? So I just want to show you how easy that is to go in and change the look and you, you have something completely new to sell, okay? Um, so let me go to this little page here and uh, let's find some elements. Let's just look up drawing or doodle. Well, let's try doodle. Okay. And I'm just going to delete these things here and I'm going to add some doodles to this page. Change this font. And then I think I will be okay with that being the first script, you know, first quote page or scripture page, followed by your morning and night routine pages. Okay. So this is formatted for 181 pages. This is for an eight and a half by 11 planner. So all we have to do now is go here. We're gonna download this as a PDF print. We're gonna choose CMYK. And then we're just gonna hit download. Now the other thing you will do is you're going to um, change your, your cover. So I'll show you how I can easily change the cover. So I'm gonna go ahead and access the cover. Okay. Now this cover page is already formatted for Amazon KDP. It's already sized and formatted for um, an eight and a half by 11 inch paperback um, with 181 pages. So you don't have to worry about um, making any changes as long as you keep everything in its place. Okay, so I think I'm all done for now with this cover. I'm not going to go any more, you know, just for example purposes, but you can see how I changed this cover here. This cover here now looks like this, okay? So it's completely different, okay? So now, um, like I said, it's already formatted formatted for an eight and a half by 11 inch planner um, for Amazon KDP that is 181 pages. So you don't have to worry about doing anything with the measurements. All you need to do now, once you've customized it, is go ahead and download this as a PDF standard, or I'm sorry, PDF print. You're gonna choose CMYK, download. This is your cover that you will upload to Amazon KDP, your interior. That you will upload to Amazon KDP. So just want to show you how easy it is to take my templates um, 
and modify them and change them so that you can either sell them as planners or you can actually take them and resell them as actual templates. Okay, so check out the Planner Profit Hub and jump right in. I have these, I have 12 done for you Canva templates that you can go in, customize just like I showed you how I customized that, you know, the one that I just did or you can keep it as is and you can resell these templates and make money as long as you do do the option um, with the PLR right. So jump on, you know, take a look at what I have here. You can choose the option with the PLR rights and the resale rights, or you can choose the options that does not give you any uh, resale rights. But what you can do is if you do do the no resale rights option, you're able to go in customize the templates and upload them to Amazon KDP and sell them as hard copy um, planners to your customers. You just can't resell the templates. So go in, take a look at the options and choose which option is best for you. So happy creating and um, I hope you got some value out of that. Thanks for watching guys. Please be sure to subscribe to my channel if you're finding value and check out some of my other videos.